Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look how to implement performance testing using JMeter and implement it into the Azure DevOps. Since Microsoft disabling load testing using cloud environments, uh, that become difficult and challenging to uh, implement uh, performance uh, testing with continuous integration. Uh, but here is a solution as the proof of concept. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, first of all, we have uh, JMeter script, uh, which has two pages. Uh, these pages are Google and it's using uh, a data set which is located in the root directory of the JMeter and it's pulling some source criteria and those pages are uh, loading the source cr criteria and returning some responses. Let's run it really quickly just to see if everything's working. So we did two iterations. Here's the page one. We pass a test. Bring re response. We pass a wiki on the page two. Then the next value from the uh, data set file my wiki and the other one my test so as you can see everything's working so now let's try to implement this exact script into Azure DevOps so first of all let's create a new project let's call it Google You can make it public, you can make it public, uh, public or private, and let's create it. <coughs> so here we are in the uh, project page, it's called Google Load. Let's look in the uh, pipelines, and we will create a release pipeline. Uh, pipeline. So we're creating new pipeline. Uh, let's use the uh, empty job. Comply. So in artifacts, first of all, uh, all depositories are located in at least in my case, located in the GitHub, you can use Azure repositories. Uh, so let's select GitHub so we need to create a service, create new quick authorization alright uh, where our depositor we're going to use load test default branch is going to be master default version latest from branch and our source will be load test underscore my cat underscore load test this is important, keep it in mind. Click Add. That means from this depository, which I'll show you right here, here is the GitHub. We're going to use that JMix, and this is the test CSV where our data is located, which is right here right 
Okay, so moving along. So here we need to create. Okay, uh, rename it. Let's call it Google Load, and we're gonna add task. Here's just in search type JMeter. So first of all, we need a, a JMeter tool installer. I'm going to add. We need to specify a version of JMeter. We're using JMeter 1.1. It has basic standard JMeter plugins. All right. So next one, we're using again going to JMeter. So next component, we need to install the uh, uh, Python. So component is use use Python version. I'm going to add it. For us, it's going to be version 3.6. Then next one, we're going to add, again, JMeter Taurus to install. And here, we need to specify executable, which is, will be just Python. That is important as well. So we're going to add additional component, which is run Taurus, which will be add. Right. <coughs> display name run load. Okay, so Taurus using a YAML file, which is basically a schema what needs to be ran. In our case, we're going to uh, customize this and replace with the special file, which we created specifically for that release pipeline. So our YAML file will look something like that. So we have a scenario. We specify a script. As you remember, I was asking to pay your attention to the uh, alias name. This alias name of GitHub connection and where it's the have a location of a JMix file, right? Now we're going to specify concurrencies. Uh, we can specify iteration, or we can specify for how long we're going to hold this task case. Right? For our case, let's say two minutes. We're going to specify ramp up. Then we're going to specify data source. It's important to have a data source delimited. Uh, we're going to have pass. This is the name of a file which is located in the uh, depository right here. This is the JMix file. Uh, and then additional attributes. Right? Then we're going to have a pass-fail criteria which is on the reporting module. And we're going to say that if average page 1 or page 2, which is right here, page 1 or page 2, will be greater than 10 seconds, for example. You can put whatever you want. And it's going to be for about 30 seconds, then stop and fail. Or if you have a failure, page 1, page 2, for more than 50% for 10 seconds, stop and fail, right? Uh, 
here we also let's rename it the uh, output say call it Azure Google All right, now Taurus will provide the report XML file and uh, native JMeter report to ensure that we have appropriate collection time uh, instead of default, which is, I believe, uh, six seconds or so. Uh, we'd like to specify one second. In order to that, we need to add a uh, torus argument in that line. That line will look like that. So everything else should stay default. Let's save it. Uh, let's say Google Cloud. Click OK. And now we're going to create a release. Create. Release is created. Now look what's actually happening. So first initializing console. We're downloading artifacts from our link we install in JMeter So now we installed the Python as well. Now we're installing our execution engine on a Taurus framework. So now we are trying to run the actual JMeter script under the Taurus. So we are waiting for results. And for those who are familiar with Taurus, you'll see the uh, actual statistics popping up. As you recall, we specified two minutes run we are on 30 seconds right now so we have uh, some uh, first results so there's two virtual users five successes zero fails average response time so let's mm -hmm. let it run I'm going to uh, pause the uh, video for I guess one minute and I get back when the test is finished so our test about to be finished in 10-15 seconds 
as you can see, we have a continuous data population with average uh, time. And let's wait for another minute or so, well, seconds in that case. <clears throat> when our pipeline will complete. All right, so pipeline complete. You can see that that was done. We can look at the uh, actual uh, output. Uh, so basically, this is number of our virtual users. This is an average times. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we can see our percentiles and. Uh, we can see our labels, page 1, page 2, and this whole entire test, 100% completed, with average time. If it's any failures happening, we'll see actually failures there as well. So, now, our pipeline is completed. Uh, what we can do, we can actually download whole entire logs. So this log contain a group of uh, artifacts. Every single uh, steps which were uh, done by the pipeline are registered here. And most importantly, we have a Taurus report. And we take a look at it at the second. So uh, that zip file is containing the uh, uh, report data and when we double click on index we'll see actual uh, JMeter report. So here's the report it's showing all important data for our analysis. If you click on the, click on the charts here's the uh, actual data and uh, here's our actual active threads, two threads, right? Uh, looking at throughputs, number of hits, transaction per seconds. So all standard JMeter report, which uh, I like it very much myself. So here's the again. Uh, additional uh, publication and proof of concept of using JMeter and some available open source uh, plugins for the uh, Azure pipelines, uh, which can create the uh, performance testing, uh, post deployment performance testing within your organization. Thank you very much. See you next time.